so I'm driving on the back road over here where they have those adorable cows. Fingers crossed we run into some because they're just so cute. I did DoorDash. I just did two orders today because I do have some frozen food back there. So I couldn't stay out for too long, but I actually DoorDash in another city, which is slightly bigger from where I live and where I normally DoorDash. So orders were just coming in through and through and through. So I decided to just accept orders that were nine dollars to ten dollars just because most of them requested me to go from one city to another which was kind of a distance so i just decided to accept orders nine and up but anyways where oh i see some cows let me show you on, i just passed them but they're on they were on the left side of the road so here we are sometimes i like to take this way home i don't take it often but it's nice because it has like a change of scenery you get to see cute adorable farm animals and things like that i've shown you guys this area before so it's nothing new but it's fun to come out here you know it's a really nice area look at this little farm building how fun would it be to just like have a couple acres of land and just have some farm animals that would be so cool okay i gotta slow down on all these turns because this ain't no racing zone it looks like they put some gravel on the sides over here so that's something that's quite new. I don't remember seeing that last time I was here. But oh, it's so beautiful out here, y'all. I love this. Peaceful. You don't have to feel like you're being rushed when you go home. Because, you know, there's always people who, like, sometimes tailgate you behind or something like that. And then you just, even if you're going the speed limit or over the speed limit by five, ugh, sometimes people just still want to tailgate, which is very annoying. But, anyways. Oh, little bird move. Oh my gosh, that little bird was so tiny, y'all. It was like a pinky. So tiny. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. I am in love. Okay, I'm gonna take a left. Actually, I think if I were to take a right, I wonder if this, that would lead me towards that one area that I like to go visit. But I don't know if it would. Maybe, I don't know, to be quite honest. No, I don't think it is. I think I'm thinking of some other place. <coughs> I almost choked on my saliva. So I don't see any cows right now. It is hot, so maybe they're taking shelter somewhere. So we'll see. You know, look at these cows. Hi. Why are you so cute? They looked so huge. Like there's a whole bunch over here. But when I was driving by. Oh my god, they're so cute. You guys look. It's little babies. What? No one's gonna harm me, babies. Don't worry. I'm just looking, I promise. Oh, they're so precious. Hello. Oh my gosh. I am in love. No one's behind me, thank goodness. Hi. You are so precious. Look at the white one back there. That one looks like a lamb. Oh, there's another one. Over there, another white one. Oh my god, y'all. Oh, obviously there's one in front of me that's white. But that one looks super white. Oh, oh my gosh, y'all. I wish I could know the owner of these cows. I knew the owner of those cows so I can ask them if I can just stand there and just look at the cows, film them, take some pictures. But I know you have to be careful with the mama cows because they protect the babies and I wouldn't want them to like feel like a, like I'm a threat or anything like that. So yeah, but it'd be nice to just watch them from a distance like that. But they're so cute. I didn't want to stay too long because I didn't want to creep out like the owner if he's in the area or something and scare him. But yeah, that was nice. Definitely worth it coming back here. So yeah, they they were in the shade area because like I said, it's hot for where we're at right now. So they're in the shade in an area that's probably hasn't been touched by cows or any well, um, what is it livestock in a while. So yeah, that's that. Let's see. I don't know if we'll see any more because we're getting close to the end of this back road, but I'll keep you all updated. There is this field over here that has cows, of course, but we won't really be able to see much, I don't think, unless they were close to the fence, which I don't see any that close. Look at them. Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh, they're so precious. Oh my gosh, I love them. Hey guys, so I'm walking with Junior here again for now. Um, Zeus already went on a walk earlier with my brother. So I just figured I'd walk him over here because it's a nice day to take your time and just enjoy the beautiful day. But dang it, part of me wishes I bought Zeus with me just because it's 
so nice here and so peaceful but it is hot so i want to make sure i don't leave them out for too long out here so we're just going to do a short walk around here and then walk back but yeah it's like this like white dandelion dust looking things flying everywhere but it's beautiful out got mr big boy over here and we're just gonna enjoy a walk so what i want to do soon maybe next month in may i want to plan like a little trip a little getaway and just go somewhere for one week or a couple of days with one of my dogs i think though i might have to take him with me just because um probably would be safer with him with me places and you know things like that though it might be hard to visit places by having him with me because you know it's hard to travel with a reactive dog but that might just be what we're gonna have to do we will see but i want to take like a little mini trip somewhere and finally go car camping and finally dip my toes in car living so that's the plan is to figure out what days i want to go car camping for a few days if not the big dog then take the small one with me i don't know yet we're just gonna have to see but i think that would be fun to just get away for a couple of days right junior okay we're gonna walk to this lump post and then walk back because like i said it is a little hot so i don't want to walk him out for too long out here so we're gonna stop over here at this little pole and then turn around but yeah you see this little pole right here this wood plank usually we would walk all the way down there but because it is hot and i don't want him to like overheat or anything at least hot for here it is we're not gonna walk too too far but here we are private property we're airport property no trespassing I think I might walk him on that side. I get a little nervous walking on this side just because there's sketchy people in here. I'll show you this one spot specifically where I've seen people kind of like drive their cars in and and chill. Of course, he's got to smell every single spot. Check it out. I really like that plant right there. That looks nice. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Looks pokey though. Don't go over there. Okay, so we're coming up to the little spot here. Okay. So you see over here, you can see people have driven down here all the way to over there, which we're not going to go, but yeah, I've seen people pull in there somewhere and like disappear and it's just very sketchy kind of walking along this side of the road. I prefer it on that side, but because it's shadier here, I think I just stepped on dog poop. I think I did. Shit. Oops. I did step on dog poo nice gonna clean my feet okay i think i took off like literally 98 percent of the poop so that's good i don't see any on my shoe anymore and it's just one shoe i think let me see yeah these are just leaves but it's just one shoe thank goodness because oh, that's good anyways we're walking back now we're almost to the car it's a little bit of a short walk but it's good because like i said it's hot and i don't want to push it so maybe I should have gone a little bit longer with him. Better safe than sorry. Oh, why are those birds? They sounded so scary. Wow. Guys, he's just following me wherever I go. He's like a little duckling. I have his leash still on him, but I have him off a leash. Good boy. Stay there. Stay. Look how cute he looks. Good boy. Can you sit for me? Sit. <laughs> Thank you. You're so silly. Oh, he's, he's a senior. He's got to be careful. Good boy, Bubby. Aw. Look at his little body. Good boy. Come, come, come. Bubsy, be careful. <gasps> Over his little body is going to go sliding. Hey guys, it's time for me to start my workout. I'm going to do probably about 40 minutes to maybe an hour, something like that. Um, that's just a plan. I'm just wearing this. This is usually what I wear when I work out. And also, um, I use my headphones here to watch a movie. Right now I'm watching this scary movie. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to start my workout. And I'll check in with you guys when I'm done. I'm starting it a little bit early today. So, just so I don't get lazy and not want to do it later. So I'm in the car currently, as you can tell. It's a big semi truck park over there. So that's why it's a little bit louder but i just closed my window anyways i just finished at walmart i got a couple of things i got this chocolate what is this a mousse chocolate mousse tastes like heaven 
but it's a lot of chocolate so I'm just going to eat it slowly maybe just eat it later I don't know but if I eat it all at once it's gonna upset my stomach guys I don't have a sweet tooth like I used to when I was a young child I guess the older you get the more less of a sweet tooth you have or whatever um, Okay, I don't know where to leave that without spilling it somewhere. Maybe I'll probably move it. Actually, no, I can't have to leave that drink there. And I also got this yellow um, Red Bull, which isn't bad. It's a tropical flavor, but I didn't realize it has 160 calories. Yeah, so there's that. But anyways, I'm going to leave this here. And now we're going to just... I don't know where we're going to go. Somewhere, I guess. We'll see where our next destination is. Hey guys, so I just got home. I got two fish in here. I will show you what kind I got. One I've never had before and the other one I think I might have had before. I don't remember for sure, but I'm going to show you. So the first fish is this one in here. It is a platinum um, parrot cichlid, which is just the white ones right in here. Look at that. Beautiful. I've always wanted one of the white ones, and this the lady at the Petco ordered two of them. The other one, unfortunately, sold. But this guy was $14.99. He's very, very beautiful. He'll be going into that tank. And then I got this one. It's extremely tiny, y'all. Look at him. I'm surprised you can actually see him right now, but he is a pea puffer. Isn't he cute? He is adorable. Where is he? There you go. He'll be going into his only tank, like a tank just for him with no other fish. He'll be going into my five gallon planted aquarium tank. So he'll be perfect for there. I might go later on and grab him another friend. Let's see if they still have more of these little guys. I'm not 100% sure if they will by the time I decide to go look again. But they did have a few in the tank. I just decided to get one for now. But this guy was $8. Okay. So I put the white fish in here to acclimate a little bit in the tank. He is going to be like this guy. But completely white hopefully he stays white and like the orange ones that i have in there so my goal is to collect not collect i shouldn't say that word is to get different kind of parrots into my aquarium so this one is a polar blue parrot they look like the convict cichlids but yeah this guy's gonna be just white just like this guy but he grows to six inches so he'll be bigger than this guy than these two over here see look at him he's cute and then i have my other orange one two orange ones in here but they're hiding can you see so the white fish will be six inches a little bit bigger than the blue guys over there with the stripes okay it's hard to see because of the glare but my little pea puffer look how tiny he is he'll be going into this tank i think he'll like this tank because it has a lot of plants for him and everything and there's just snails in here if he does decide to go after these guys which is not a big deal it has a lot of pest snails a lot of the brown ones oh i need to take these guys out the big ones Big, big guys. I think I might put these in my 50, uh, 55 gallon actually. I think that's the goal. But, anyways, everyone's looking good here. I'm gonna let them acclimate and then I'll show you once they're By out. the way, you guys, here is an update on my crayfish. I have him in here. Look at him. He's just getting huge. Holy smokes. I didn't realize he's that big. Like, I knew, but I, I'm also, I don't know why I'm just so surprised by his size. I decided to add this cave in here. It doesn't really match anything, but it's okay for now. In the future, I think my goal is to get some white sand in here. But then he'll camouflage with it. But that's okay. No biggie. But that's the goal for um, hopefully soon. Okay, guys. So I put my little white parrot fish in here. Here he is. Sorry for the glare. I'll show you him later tonight. But he seems to be doing good so far. I'm hoping these guys will leave him alone. And the orange ones, they're hiding in here. They're very skittish, unfortunately. But, yeah, they're doing good. I saw at the pet store that they have one of these in their tanks. I don't know if they would sell it, but I wonder if they would. I should have asked them. But, I don't know. It was kind of cool. Because it was, like, the other side of this castle, the left side. So, it would have been perfect to have in here. And then I can put it on that side. And then have the mi middle be kind of, like, open or something. I don't know. That would have been kind of nice to have. So my 55 gallon is turning into like a cichlid tank, which is fine, but that's what it's pretty much turning into. I really want to get like an Oscar, but he's going to be too big, I feel like, for all the fish in here. And I just don't want to cause problems, so I don't know if I'll be getting an Oscar. It's just not the right call, but I maybe one day if I ever get a bigger tank or get like just a 55 and I can just keep one Oscar in it, I think that would be cool. But anyways, yeah, it's turning more into a cichlid tank. There's only like two tetras in here and the rest are like quarries, a lot of quarries. And then we've got like cichlids and angelfish, which are kind of semi-aggressive fish. And then, yeah, the big orange guys are right over there if I can sneak slowly. 
He's hiding. He sees me coming. Oh, where did he go? Smart. He just hid under there. But yeah, so far everything's now looking it's good. Time to let out the puffer fish into his aquarium. I was actually gonna put it into my 2.5, but I have a beta in there, so um, I'm just gonna leave him in there. I do need to take out the mystery snails that are in here because I do not want them to get eaten by my um bee puffer. So that's the plan. I think also I might take out some of my ramshorn snails later, the ones that have like a nice color to them, and put them into my other tank. We'll see. Here's a quick update on my pufferfish, if I can find it. Where is he? He's usually hanging out over here. Come on, Junior. Sorry, my dog's cry baby. Oh, here he is. Cute as can be. What a cutie patootie. Why are you so jealous all the time? You're jealous of a fish getting attention? Come here. Let me see your face. Jealous boy. So I just discovered that my polar blue fish have babies kind of hard to see because they're tucked in back there but they have some babies and they're swimming around no wonder these guys are hiding in here and this one's staying over here they keep chasing all the quarries away too so yeah they've got some babies hiding it's so hard to see but they're all the way back there somewhere dang it maybe when they get bigger we can see them can you see over there i don't know if the video is showing them from where i'm recording i can't see no, I wonder what kind of coins these are. Bronze. If I can ask, that's what it is, and they go. Oh, 